Right, so here we've got the basic equation for a quadratic equation, and this is going to give you a what kind of shape? Come on, guys, what's it going to give you? What's the shape going to be? What's the shape of the graph going to be? Curve line. A, a curve line. What kind of curve line? Parabola. Parabola, yeah, parabola. Now, it turns out that the parabola will have a vertex. We talked about that. And the vertex, you know, if it's right here, for example, that's the vertex. In this case, is that a minimum or a maximum? It's a what? Minimum. Minimum, yeah, but it's opening up. So you would expect the A to be positive or negative here. Positive. Positive, yes. <clears throat> and it's opening up. And, and the axis of symmetry will come right down through here, right through the vertex. So if x, for example, is, is 6 here at this vertex, the axis of symmetry is x equals 6. <coughs> it goes through the vertex every time. So the axis of symmetry and the vertex are always going to be the same. And it turns out to be equal to this. x at the vertex is negative b over 2a negative B over 2A every time. Now the good news for you is your calculator knows how to find that too. You're going to use snake and calc what? Intersect. No. Uh -huh. Good guess, but in this case it's not intersect. If I want to find this point right here, I'm going to use second calc minimum. And if I want to find this point right here, I use second calc maximum. And that will give you X to the vertex every time.